All right, so I don't know if uh, this is going to be a half decent video, but uh, I'll take a look. I'll actually watch this one and see if uh, post it up. Uh, so this came in the mail today. Um, it's from the Western Front Association, and it's um, you know it's part of that thing a couple of weeks ago there that was on the live stream uh, with the uh, Rob Thompson Memorial Conference, and um, you know I signed up not because of that, but I, I signed up uh, because uh, I wanted to get access to their um, all their resources on the website and so on and so forth. Didn't expect all this to come. I actually when I saw the um, package in in, uh, uh, in my uh, post box um, I actually thought it was um, a new edition uh, uh, the next issue of slingshot magazine which is um, from uh, the Society of Ancients I was like wait a minute I just got this uh, like a little while ago and there's only uh, you get four a year and um, so I wasn't really sure and then anyways but I did on a side note um, I should do a video about this at some point uh, it's uh, their vi um, magazines have really gone up in quality um, but it's this bit here I wanted to do one where they do a massive comparison of all the uh, miniatures I think at uh, 15 millimeter um, anyway yep yeah, it looks 15 to 18 or something like that here so if you can see that so anyways yeah and of course a lot of you guys are into miniatures and whatnot I, I don't know about that scale but that's a big well hoser house rules would be I would assume no he does 28s uh, that I've seen. That's right. Um, anyways, let's get to this. So this came in the mail. So I want to take a look and show it to you. The only thing I really, I did read this. Um, I'm going to read it out to you, just uh, the whole thing, just a little bit here. It says, Dear Member, it gives me great pleasure uh, to welcome you to the Western Front Association. And this is the other thing too, is remember, um, you know, uh, I um, got us a virtual seat there, the, um, the live stream people that hang out. Um, and I uh, thought, you know, Anyway, so this is kind of like, that's why I wanted to show the video a little bit too. Um, the WFA was founded in 1980 by the late John Giles, a military historian, and our membership is currently over 6,400 worldwide. We are privileged to have a Professor Gary Sheffield, a noted historian and author, as our pres president. And it goes on and on about, there's branches all around the place. Of course, most of them are probably in England, and so on and so forth. But uh, this is the big, uh, the first thing I saw was this pin. Uh, I'll take it out because it's probably glossy as hell. We have um, the oyster shuckers or the, uh, the stabby tweezers. I have neither. Hold on, but I do have teeth, and I know many of you might be like, "What the hell?" Anyways, that's happened. So that looks nice. I don't know how many. I will, I'm going to try to wear it as <laughs> it's, it's glossy as well. And it says the Western Front Association, and then it's got 1914-1918 uh, remembering, and um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can wear it as much as possible. And I'm uh, uh, obviously for me, it's going to be a conversation starter. I certainly flip and hope so. Um, and away we go. Uh, so this one, I guess, is uh, probably one of their latest. Uh, uh, yeah, they talk about I'm going to get so many mag. Hold on, I'll try to zoom out completely, or just hold on. Maybe that'll help. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm using the camcorder. I don't have a whatever. So this is a, like I said, I'm not uh, doing a whatever. But so I guess this must be the latest edition. And uh, holy moly, this is going to be fun. Um, yeah, right on, man, right on. And this is the bulletin, fields of battle. Um, I have no idea what this is about. Um, no idea. The Journal of the Western Front Association. So what is this about? Interesting. Is it like like minutes or, or like you know like an annual thing or? Hold on. I don't know what you guys can see. Sorry. I should do an overheady thing, but yeah, it looks more like a um, whatever. But oh my f and son of a b man. This is just. Uh, yeah, I guess, um, yeah, like Mandarin Mike, sorry if I'm tough, man, this is whatever. Um, Mandarin Mike mentioned, um, you know, about uh, sometimes not looking at uh, things outcome-based and just going with it. In other words, uh, not focusing on the outcome. And um, it's the same thing here. There's just so much information 
uh, and so much to, to gather and, and soak in and, and find out about and explore. Uh, that's the word I'm using, uh, explorer. I'm not a historian, I'm not a researcher, I'm not a whatever. Maybe I will in the sense that if I ever get, like, do a focused uh, thing. But, um, yeah, I guess that's the way to look at it. Is um, There's no outcome here. It's just uh, just go through and find out. Experience and explore. Um, and uh, this is this mystery bag. I have no idea what the heck this thing is. Um, Ooh, my, yay! This seems very interesting. What the hell? What the hell have I got 3D glasses for? <laughs> this is so weird. I don't know, I have to find out why in the world they sent me 3D glasses. What the hell? This is like, I just have no idea. Is this some kind of wacky metaphor for, I don't know. Anyways, and that's some kind of iron-on patch, I guess. Jeez. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, really show you because I had no clue what the heck was uh, what was in these things. <laughs> I certainly didn't expect a pair of 3D glasses. I, why in the world are they called pair? Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I understand the two eyes thing, but shouldn't it just be called... Um, or is it because it's a pair of glasses, but they're attached? So it's not, uh, I'm assuming, yeah, maybe that's it. Okay, hope you're having a good time. See ya.